evening. Please do sit down. As the Vice-Chancellor of the University, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this afternoon, I possibly should say this evening's ceremony for the School of Computer Science, the School of Education, the School of Engineering and Technology, and the School of Physics, Astronomy and Maths. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my left, Mrs. Sal Jarvis, uh, uh, who's the Pro Vice-Chancellor for Education and Student Experience. Next to her is Dr. Mark Thompson, the Dean of the School of Physics, Astronomy and Mathematics. And on my far left, Dr. Rodney Day, the Dean of the School of Engineering and Technology. On my right, I present Professor William Cloxon, Dean of the School of Computer Science. And on my far right, Dr. Lynn Trod, Dean of the School of Education. And finally, on the table to my extreme right is Mrs. Sharon Harrison Barker, the academic registrar who carries the University Mace. This is the University Mace in, in front of me, and I should point out to you, particularly to those who are about to graduate, it is for my protection. Uh, and uh, Mrs. Sharon Harrison Barker is much stronger than she looks. <laughs> um, of course, at this point, I would uh, very much like to welcome all our potential graduates and their mums, dads, friends, relatives and supporters who have come here to join in our celebration. Uh, uh, do please enjoy the evening, try and relax uh, and uh, uh, have a really uh, uh, great time. I have now pleasure in calling upon Mrs. Sal Jarvis to address the assembly. Good evening, and a very warm welcome to all our graduates and their family and friends who join us on this important day. I am so delighted to be sharing this special day with you, to ce celebrate your success and to look ahead to the future. Today is the result of your tremendous hard work, and it is a great achievement. I know that many individuals will have played a role in your journey. And I'm sure that you would wish to acknowledge the support of family, friends, lecturers, supervisors, and a myriad of others who have provided support. However, today is your day, a time to celebrate your achievement. Having now completed your studies, your horizon changes to the world of work or further study, and you should be rightly proud of your success. Whether you have graduated from computer science, engineering, technology, education, physics, astronomy, or mathematics, your future contributions will be crucial to the success of the future. Certainly we are very proud of you and of the contribution that you will continue to make to society. We live in challenging times and whatever sector we are working in, none of us are immune from those challenges. We are all facing financial challenges and we are faced often with the requirement to do more for less, facing competing priorities, so that sometimes it may seem a thankless task. However, I am confident that your talent, coupled with the business-facing education ethos in which you have been immersed at the university, will have prepared you for your professional life ahead. Across professional and academic disciplines, you have achieved ability in your subject areas and a resilience, an enterprising outlook that will equip you for the challenges of your particular sector, whichever one it is. We are rightly proud of our mission to be internationally renowned as the UK's leading business facing university. But what does this mean for you in your own professional area? I believe it means creating excellent, committed practitioners, ambitious individuals who are also collegiate team players, resilient, creative and innovative. In graduating from this university, I know you will have practiced and demonstrated all of these attributes, along with the social responsibility and respect for others that we value dearly and take seriously in all our graduates. And so I know that you will go on to enjoy rewarding careers and be able to face life's challenges. 
I know that you will continue to grow and to learn. And I hope that you believe that choosing to study at the University of Hertfordshire has contributed to that success. We would love you to continue to feel part of the university community as an alumnus and as part of our worldwide alumni community. Each of you is valuable to us and I hope that you will keep in touch and perhaps share your experiences to support others to gain the skills and the insights that you now have. All that remains for me to do is once again to sincerely congratulate you on your outstanding achievements and on behalf of the university, thank you for being with us. I wish you the very best for your future lives and careers. We shall now receive the graduates of the School of Computer Science, the School of Education, School of Engineering and Technology, and the School of Physics, Astronomy, and Mathematics. Candidates are presented by a senior member of academic staff from their school. Awards, sponsorships, and prizes that have been given in the final year of study will be read out prior to the graduate's name. I first call upon Professor Bruce Christensen. Master of Science degree in Advanced Computer Science, Ashley Thomas Flatley. <laughs> With distinction, Preeti Kandwal. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Artificial Intelligence with Robotics, Amarachi Ihiani Okorofo. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Computer Networking Principles and Practice, Arish Burhan Ahmed. <laughs> Ibrahim Musa Anka. With distinction, Banisha Bhattarai. <laughs> Namdi Kingsley Osobu. <laughs> Seedali Pomafi. Kong Shang Jia. <laughs> With distinction, Syed Muhammad Amid Uz Zaman. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Computer Science. With distinction, Ave Amjad Ali. With distinction, Jonathan Brincat. <laughs> With distinction, Alexander James Cooper. <laughs> With distinction and winner of a university prize, Renita Genevieve Furtado. Mohammed Shamim Hossein. <laughs> Laura Elizabeth McLean. <laughs> With distinction, David Matthew Pride. Master of Science degree in e-learning technology, Michael Aaron Weiss. <laughs> 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 
Master of Science degree in Software Engineering, Tejaswini Bangalore Mohan. <laughs> With distinction, Mihalan Bharat Bhai Desai. <laughs> Osama Liaquat. Palavi Gopal Mahalathka. <laughs> With distinction, Johnson Oluwatusen Oluwadale. <laughs> With distinction, and winner of a university prize, Matthew Sacco. With distinction, Michael Dallas. Kai Rui Wang. Yasir Huid Raymond Yusuf. Master of Engineering degree in Computer Science, accelerated with first class honors, Daniel Ashley Barry. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Michael Chambers. Kamalprit Singh Daliwal. <laughs> With first class honors, Daniel Farugia. <laughs> Cheryl Peter McArdle. Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Artificial Intelligence, Rebecca Gail Miko. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Software Engineering, Mikkel Matthias de Luga. Captain Joseph Onwakwem. <laughs> With first class honors, Nicholas James Scannell. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Software Engineering with a year abroad. With first class honors, Anthony Brown. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Studies, Patrick Coll Emanuel. Bachelor of Science degree in Information Technology, Mohammed Mahbub Ahmed. <laughs> Maria Borg. <laughs> Jamie Lee McAuliffe. Justin Vella. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Information Technology, Entertainment Systems, Oluwalose Morontadon Akinola.
School of Education, Master of Arts degree in Education, winner of the Helen Burchill Prize, Claire Keats. Carol Kinsella Frost. <laughs> Amina Rahman. <laughs> Nicola Rogers. With distinction, Choi Feng Tang. <laughs> Master of Arts degree in Education and Leadership, Sally Diane Olden. <laughs> Didi Elizabeth Gadin. Simon Haldon White. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Practice Based Research. With distinction, Neil James Dix Pincott. <laughs> Georgia Holleran. With distinction, Alison Mitchell. <laughs> With distinction, Elizabeth Ann Petch. <laughs> With distinction, Helen Elizabeth Seaman. Tracy Joanne Simpson. <laughs> Postgraduate Certificate in Education in Secondary, Océane Marine Charlotte Menue. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education in Education Studies, Shivani Sara Paresh Patel. School of Engineering and Technology, Doctor of the Philosophy, Emmanuel Chukuma Obana has been awarded the degree of the Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of the program of work entitled are multi parameter empirical models for the mesophilic and anaerobic digestion. West Chancellor, Dr. Emmanuel Chukuma Obana. Doctor of Philosophy, Oruyomi Moru Ruyo Simpson has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Optimal Cooperative Spectrum Sensing for Cogan Radio, 
Vice Chancellor, Dr. Aluyomi Maru Luyo Simpson. Doctor of Philosophy, Pai Ying has been awarded the degree of a Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Aerodynamic Analysis of a Novel Wind Turbine for an Omni Flow Wind Energy System. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Pai Ying. Doctor of Engineering. Richard James Poole has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Engineering in recognition of a program of work entitled Technical and Economic Analysis of Connecting Nuclear Generation to the National Electricity Transmission System via HVDC technology. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Richard James Poole. School of Engineering and Technology, Master of Science degree in Advanced Digital Systems, Delaney Ayoda Jayasinghe Nirielaj. <laughs> Hishan Sajis Samara Wikrama Polwata Galaj. Master of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering, Victoria Karacheskate. <laughs> William Joseph Pape. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Automotive Engineering, with distinction, Patrick Charles David Sheen. Tejas Talakeri Subo Rio. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Data Communications and Networks, Mohammed Hamad Lamin Eshaim. <laughs> With distinction, Mohammed Hasnain Ziyudin Sondi. Master of Science degree in Embedded Intelligent Systems, Aman Ula. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Manufacturing Management, Dong Wang. Here now. Yeah. Master of Science degree in Embedded Intelligence Systems, Mahima Goal. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Embedded Intelligence Systems, with distinction, Yea Shen. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering. Faran Awan. <laughs> With distinction, Eze Haley Edward Enaru. <laughs> Quadri Ariola Lawal.
with distinction, Inayat May Modi. With distinction, Mohammed Munib. Omigiait Odiosa Osa Emokepe. To do thang. Master of Science degree, Operations and Supply Chain Management, with distinction, Mohammed Salman Azif. <laughs> with distinction, Bonaventure Dixon Obanyano. <laughs> with distinction, Kuzashi Blessing Pazvaka Vambawa. Master of Science degree in Radio and Mobile Communication Systems, with distinction, Mahmoud Hassan Abdelaziz Saad. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Aerospace Engineering, Stephen Rothwell. Bachelor of Engineering degree in Aerospace Engineering with Space Technology with First Class Honours, Tabassum Sharira Tanvir. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Aerospace Systems Engineering with Pilot Studies with First Class Honours, James Frederick John Hedges. Nep Islam Sheikh. <laughs> Mohammed Saad. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Digital Systems and Computer Engineering, June Pan. Bachelor of Engineering degree in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Abdul Ahmed Temitopi Olamai. <laughs> Zidane Wang. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Mechanical Engineering, Mohammed Ama. David Goodluck Obukpokiri Ifubari Boye. <laughs> Uma Liquat. <laughs> With first class honors, Shu Liu. Salem Salah Salem Ali Sawad. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Aerospace Technology with Management, Mohammed Al Gabri. <laughs> Connor Christopher Miller. Bachelor of Science degree in Aerospace Technology with Pilot Stud Studies, William Edward Fielding. <laughs> with first class honors, Shuang Wang.
with first class honours, Zheng Yu Wu. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Motorsport Technology, Thomas Bayford. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Multimedia Systems Technology with first class honours, Sheng Dai. With first class honours, Ji Wang. <laughs> Kun Zhang. School of Physics, Astronomy and Mathematics. Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics. Fatima Ahmed. Uh, Naeem Farhan Ali. Ross Ramzaran. Anika Tasnim Udin. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education, Ishika Lama Rai. School, School of Computer Science. Doctor of Philosophy, Parash Ashrafi has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Predicting the Absorption Rate of Chemicals Through Mammalian Skin Using Machine Learning Algorithms. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Parash Ashrafi. One of the particular privileges of being the Vice Chancellor at the University of Hertfordshire is of course that I am the uh, first to be allowed to congratulate our new graduates. Uh, can I therefore uh, add my very, very warmest congratulations. You've done a fantastic job. Uh, it was terrific to hear some of your stories as you crossed the stage. Very well done, congratulations. I'm now very pleased to call upon Edward Inaru, who's going to give you an address on behalf of the graduates. Good afternoon, Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen. It's a privilege to stand here before you today. Whether you're a member of the faculty or administration, relative or a friend, it's a real honor to be here. Never in a million years would I have dreamt I'll be speaking to any kind of graduating class. But considering the amount of things that happened so far, from Leicester City winning the Premier League to Donald Trump becoming the American president, I guess anything is possible. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our lecturers who have tried to instill in us the passion for learning, because without them, I don't think I'll be standing here today. And to the university for creating an atmosphere for me and every graduate sat here today to succeed in. And finally, to the class of 2016, it is with the help of your pizza parties, study sessions, and everything in between, I've been able to gain a few pounds and success. In the words of John Stewart, university is something you complete, life is something you experience. Don't worry about your grades or your results or success. Success is defined in many ways, 
and you'll find it, and people will no longer be grading you. It will come from your own internal sense of decency. Therefore, irrespective of your grades, you have accomplished something great. That is just the beginning of many more extraordinary things you achieve in life. When I got selected to do this speech, I panicked, and my fiance said to look on YouTube, so I did. And all the speech talked about how we came, we saw, and we conquered. So I said I need to switch it up. However, I couldn't, as why should I not be able at this moment give everyone a voice to explain what each of us have achieved here today. We decided to come to the University of Hertfordshire to achieve great things together, and we saw the life we saw the life of it, aiming to make those 11.59 deadlines and at 11.58 submitting an assignment when the upload time stays two minutes. We quickly realized it was not as easy as we thought. But here I am today. We've conquered all that obstacles and now we have the weapon of success, the qualification we have achieved, which will break down those career walls we've been aiming at. But remember, it doesn't matter what weapon you hold or how you can use it. So go out to the world, let your light shine, hold that weapon with pride, because you're a conqueror and you'll continue to conquer the world. On your darkest day when the hunt for your dream graduate job seems impossible, remember what you have achieved here today. Never give up, for quitting is not in our vocabulary. We made it through sleeping in the LRC before an exam and coffee, Red Bull, foil, foiled assignments, master classes from our classmates at five minutes to nine when the exam is at nine o'clock. We are not quitters, we have nev never have been and never will be. So take any setback as a lesson and in the word of Maria Angelo, say to yourself, still I rise. I would like to thank everyone who has touched our life throughout our university experience, from our parents who stood by us no matter what, re always reminding us to eat and sleep properly, to our lecturers and administrators who have made our university experience amazing and our advisors who have helped us decide what part to take. To friends, cosmate, and all those people we depend on. Without you and each other, we won't be here today. Thanks also to all the loving, kind people I've met during my time at the University of Hertfordshire, including the back of house staff, that help ensure our facilities are properly taken care of. If even half the people I encounter after I leave here are anything like my Hertfordshire cohorts, I know I have nothing to worry about. So to the University of Hertfordshire class of 2016, we made it. It's certainly a huge milestone. I'm sure most of us will remember today, if not the night after, hopefully for the rest of our lives. Sincerely from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for coming and continue the good work. I would like to conclude by thanking once more the Vice Chancellor for receiving the graduates of the School of Computer Science, Education, Engineering and Technology, Physics, Astronomy, and Mathematics. Thank you so much. Edward, thank you very much for those kind words. And very interesting, I think perhaps your motto for the year should be let your light shine. Seemed like a very good uh, uh, thought to me, particularly of course for uh, astronomers and mathematicians. But I, it is interesting because of course we have here uh, four people graduating from four different schools and from four, you know, many different departments within those schools. And what can I say as your vice chancellor in a sense to draw all that together um, well, let me try not to talk about your individual discipline expertise because you have, by graduating today, proven to us, of course, that you have that. But let me talk to you a little bit about the broader attributes that we hope that you will take away from the University of Hertfordshire. We have been working as uh, academics and as professional staff within the university to try in various ways to ensure that our graduates develop a set of attributes that we may be proud of. And those attributes include uh, respect for others. Now, uh, I felt as the uh, uh, run-up to Brexit, uh, reading in the, uh, uh, the, the newspapers, there was a lot of rhetoric which didn't seem to me to reflect well on a society who 
uh, uh, reflect uh, and, and respect each other. So I think for all of us, it's more important than ever that we do continue to respect each other, respect our individual cultural backgrounds and heritage, and enjoy the, 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 the wonderful cosmopolitan society that we have here in the United Kingdom. The second of our attributes is uh, 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 to leave here with a sense of social responsibility. And of course, I mean much beyond uh, simply obeying the law and paying your taxes. I hope that in terms of social responsibility, you believe that you have a duty to enhance and look after your communities, to uh, support and look after your families. And I hope that you can take that forward as one of the attributes that you've uh, uh, learnt while you've been here at the university. We, of course, in terms of your attributes, we, of course, want you to be learners throughout your lives. Whatever we've been able to teach you in three or four years here at the university will very quickly be overtaken by events, by discoveries, by new processes. It's important that you can continue to learn these as you go through life. And, of course, not just uh, continual learning, but also the problem-solving skills which we hope we've brought to you, particularly those who uh, have had a, a, a very rich research experience while you've been at the university. One thing that the uh, employers that we speak to say to us is that, the, that one of the most important things that you, their new employees, will bring to their businesses is the ability to solve problems, and I hope that those research skills allow you to do that. Um, Something particularly uh, important to me is uh, what I call intellectual flexibility. Really, what I mean by that is that I hope that those of you who have done very scientifically-based subjects have still been able to lift your eyes above the horizons to think about the humanities, to think about arts, to think about culture. And certainly, if you have been able to do so as a student, I hope you're able to take that forward in your life in the future. Do engage with the arts. They are hugely important, and they will enrich your life. And for those of you who have perhaps had a more literary uh, time at university, please do uh, uh, ensure that you are sufficiently numerate to take part in the big debates of society, global warming, poverty, all those sort of things, uh, economic stability, and so on. It is important that you engage with those things. Then, of course, as a university, Sal indicated to you earlier, that we want to be internationally renowned as the UK's leading business-facing university. And as a business-facing university, we expect every one of our graduates to be professional in the way that they uh, 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 purport themselves when they leave the university. So I hope that that professionalism is something that you've been able to uh, uh, embrace while you've been here. And finally, an, a, 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 an additional attribute which we as an academic community have debated and uh, have agreed that we would like all our students to have is internationalization as, or internationalism, I suppose I could call it. In other words, what we want is you as graduates of this university to be able to go and work anywhere in the world to embrace the cultural environment that you find yourself in, to embrace the heritages of the communities that you find yourselves in. Now, uh, uh, given that we uh, embraced that particular attribute, uh, uh, about exactly a month before the country voted for Brexit, you might think we perhaps had uh, uh, got it wrong somewhat, but actually, uh, uh, au contraire, I think we got it absolutely right. And I think that given that we will be coming out of uh, the European Union, it's even more important that our graduates still have horizons that go beyond the, the boundaries of the United Kingdom. And I'm sure you'll take those horizons with you as you leave the university. Um, that's the end of my, if you like, uh, 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 and I think your last uh, ever lecture that you'll get as uh, uh, students of the university. But let me finish by looking at those immediately in front of me and the, the mums and dads who are scattered throughout the, uh, throughout the auditorium here. Mums, dads, friends, families, perhaps children. Uh, uh, and can I just say that the journey that your uh, <clears throat> now graduates have taken through the university will have been made very much easier as a, as a result of the support and, in fact, as a result of the love 
that you have given them while they've been here at the university. We on this side of the, uh, of the stage very much appreciate that. It hugely enhances their learning experience and it hugely allows them really to devote their time when they're at university to their studies and to uh, engaging effectively with the university. So can I ask everyone to thank everyone who's supported all our graduates today one last time. Thank you very much. That ends the official part of the celebration. We now move to the more relaxed part of the celebration. I'm going to ask you in a moment to, uh, if you wouldn't mind being upstanding as the academic procession leaves, but we will be drifting roughly in the direction of the marquee where you will find some uh, tea and coffee and refreshments. So please do follow us. I think there are also uh, Christmas mince pies, which are my particular favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, would you mind being upstanding as the academic procession leaves? Thank you.